high profile African American Houstonians who have run afoul with the law. And what do they do when they're in trouble? According to one group, they hire white attorneys. Here are some high profile cases. When former TSU president Dr. Priscilla Slade got into trouble in 2006 for misspending university funds, she hired attorney Mike DeGarren White. When Adrian Peterson was charged in 2014 for injury to a child, while child, he hired attorney Rusty Harden White. And most recently, Pastor Kirby John Caldwell was arrested for a bogus bond scheme. He hired Dan Cogdale White. All high profile blacks are hiring high profile white attorneys. Is there a problem with that? One group says so. Now, it's a conversation black attorneys talk about amongst themselves all the time, but today, on the messy factor, as we so preciously do, we're airing it out. Joining me now is general practice attorney Jolanda Jones, criminal defense attorneys Wilvin Carter and Leticia Quinones. We want to thank you guys and welcome to the Factor Uncensored. When you hear and see what the history has been in Houston when it comes to high-profile African Americans hiring white attorneys, your thoughts on that? Well, that's they generally do that. They think their ice is colder. Uh, it's not. Uh, we're just as good. I mean, I believe, and, and we actually perform, in my opinion, a lot of times miracles with clients who don't have money because we have to be resourceful. And I mean, even when I got the Paul Wall case, which I think is arguably the highest profile case that I had. And here's so, a white guy hiring a black attorney. Well, he believes in black women. <laughs> His wife is black. But there were white attorneys trying to poach my client. Uh -huh. So, I mean, saying all kind of negative things about me. And thankfully, he appreciates black women. His wife is a black woman. He got black kids, and so they couldn't flip him. But people have done that, taking Let, high profile clients. Let's bring Wilvin in on this issue. When you see a high profile African American going to a white attorney instead of considering you guys, your thoughts on that? Well, as I, sometimes it, I understand that people want to go with who they think is the best lawyer. But when you have good lawyers, good African-American lawyers working in this community, um, a community such as uh, Harris County, Fort Bend County, and the alike, it, 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 it kind of sends that, that shock wave again of that the white lawyers know more, they have better connections, um, they're going to be able to do a better job. And that's historical um, when it comes to us. And so what it does, it, it perpetuates that, that myth that black lawyers are not as inept as the white lawyers. So it, it, it kind of hurts, um, but that's a person's personal choice. Um, that's, and that's what we fight against every day when we're in these courtrooms. Letitia, let's bring you into this. Does it hurt? Is it frustrating? Does it make you angry? Um, you know, we were talking about this earlier, um, earlier today as well as earlier before we came on. And we were talking about my experiences, a little bit different, I would say, than my colleagues here. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with some of the finest white lawyers across the country, um, in Los Angeles, here in Texas, um, all across the country, in Florida, you name it. And so, will I say or sit here and be naive and say that it does not exist? No, I'm not going to make that statement. But am I going to say that there's just a blanket white line that exists across the board? That just has not been my experience. Mm -hmm. I do get high profile cases. Do I wish that more African Americans in high profile positions trust us more? Absolutely. Because I know with the cases that I've worked on, you know, I've worked with Chip Lewis, I've worked um, with Craig Wilkie in Orange County, California, all of which are very excellent lawyers who've trusted me and I've trusted them. But do I wish Kirby John Caldwell would have trusted me? Absolutely. Do I know that I could have done a just as good of job, if not better? Absolutely. My sister goes to his church. My first cousin goes to his church. I'm vested, more so than probably anyone else that is not in my position. So, yes, does it exist? Absolutely. Do I believe that that is a ceiling that can never be broken? No, I don't. Jolanda, is it perception or is it their experience or is it the white attorney's high profile nature? Well, I know, for example, there's a certain high profile lawyer, I won't call no names, who has like an annual party where he invites the media. He, he gets hired on high profile cases and loses all the time. I'm not going to call no names. I think it's real easy to figure out who it is. But one of the things I'd like to say about Letitia, you're working with them. Like they're bringing you in to work. I'm talking about where the high profile people call you. Like I don't, I don't have to work with, and I'm not putting that down. I mean, some of the lawyers you say, I, I respect, but that's not my point. My point is, if you get in trouble, right, you're accused of something, the police are messing with you, we are absolutely prepared to fight the police as hard and work hard and we have that cultural understanding because when I've worked with some Anglo lawyers it was really interesting 
stuff that made sense to me for why somebody might do something that wasn't nefarious, the white lawyer just didn't get it. And I had to explain, like, but, but you would understand that if you grew up in this culture. All right. We thank you guys for coming on The Factor. This is a long conversation that we need to continue to have.